This is Torlino, his not a great name for a dog. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can teach your dog to leave it exercise. So uh, the first stage is I'm going to have one treat in this hand, and I'm going to have a whole bunch of treats, and I'm using really stinky treats. When it comes to dogs, the smell of the food is most important. Temperature is number two. Taste is a distant third. These are chicken liver. They have a strong aroma. So he's going to try to take them. I'm offering him here. He has one right here. This is the reward. He's never going to get this one. This is kind of a loose hand, and he's doing what a lot of dogs do is try to take. I'm teaching him that trying to take is never going to work. I'm not saying a command word yet because believe it means really leave stuff off the ground. So I'm going to offer again. And don't hold it up here. Have it kind of back here. So as soon as he stops trying to take it, that's when I reward him. This is operant condition. This is teaching him through his actions. Instead of telling him to do it, when he stops, that's when he gets it. And so don't move your hand away when you're doing it. He's just moving my hand himself. That's very determined. There we go. This is the very this is the baby step. You won't have to do this very often. We'll do it one more time. There we go. Now we're going to start dropping it. Now the progression for this is collapse, cage, hover, and I'll show you. Now I have a little treat pouch over here. I'm going to use this. So I'm going to have two treats, and the way I start off doing it is I don't want to drop it right under his mouth. That's too hard for him. So what I do is I go like this. He goes this one. I pull this one away and drop that one, and I collapse on top of it. And I've got this is the one to reward him. Leave it. Then I pick this one up. He never, ever gets the one that you drop. So now I grab another treat, so I have two to begin with. And drop it low. So now I can cage. I'm moving faster than you probably will. Leave it. And so I'm saying leave it after the treat goes in his mouth. So I'm asking for more criteria. And this is faster than you guys should go. I'm waiting for him to look up at me. After this is probably a little too fast, but he seems pretty sharp. We'll see how he does. And if you notice, I'm not holding the treat in my left hand up. It's on my lap. If you do that, that kind of draws the dog's attention. When, and what I'm waiting for him to do at this stage is look up at me. And again, you're not going to go this fast. I just want to make this video a little bit more concise. Leave it. Now, normally, that, those are three stages that I showed you really fast. You want to basically do the first stage, keep dropping and, and come until like that. He's not going to it right away. Once you get about three or four times in a row that he does it, then you can go to the next one where you drop it. When you drop it, make sure you're dropping it firmly about four inches. If people drop from up here, you have no idea where it's going to go. Leave it. And then I pick this one back up. And then I'll do one over here. Leave it. Hover. Leave it. Now, I made a mistake there. I started shuffling my hand. You saw that draw, drew his attention. I mirror him. He goes for it. My hand goes down to a collapsing position. He backed away. It would raise. But this is very, very early for him to be raising. He's pretty. He's doing a very good job of it. It's under my pinky knuckle, or that end. Leave it. So uh, this is the these are the first stages. The first one is again you only do this maybe three or four times with holding it and then treating him, and you don't say leave it for that stage. Then you start dropping it. I like to have one in both hands. So if I go like this, well wait for him to look. If I go like this, he goes this hand. I pull this one and drop that one. If you go into this hand, I pull that one. So you're dropping one further away. Um, and always have one in both hands because you want to get that timing real quick. Eventually. Leave it. And then once you get to this stage, so the first stage is uh, the holding the hand. The second one is you collapsing. Once he's backing off that pretty quickly, then you go to a cage. And once he's backing off that one, then you go to a hover. Then you kind of mirror him. So if I drop it here,
leave it. And once you get to the hover stage, then you're gonna start elongating how long he has to wait before you get it. But again, he never, ever, ever gets the one on the ground and always gets the other one. And we say, leave it after it goes in his mouth. Now I'm gonna, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside because he likes to eat pine cones and sometimes he gets, it rips up his inside from him. So we're gonna go outside and see if we can apply the same technique to one of the things the guardian hates him doing, chewing the pine cones. Okay, Tortellino, you got my pants a little bit dirty. That's okay. Um, all right, so this is the pine cone thing that he really likes. So we just showed him literally a minute ago. And unlike people on TV, I didn't practice this. So it's gonna be hard for him to do. Now, this is also a little bit hard because of the size of it. So I'm gonna kind of use this and I'll use my four ocean bracelet to kind of keep it here. Actually, I guess I don't need to, so. Leave it. Now, dogs, our eyes are naturally attracted to movement, so you wanna pick it up each time and drop it. Now, I can tell them to sit, but that's not real world activity. You're gonna be walking when you see vomit on the street or something you don't want them to have. Hey, buddy. So we'll switch hands. Leave it. Uh -uh. So this is very early. Normally, you would practice there and there, but this is, makes for better video. So I'm gonna drop it from kind of, well, let's have better camera presence. Um, I'm gonna drop it, if I drop it from here, that's a big drop that's gonna attract his attention more. So I'm gonna go, wait for him. He's kind of staring, I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Leave it. Now I didn't like me leaving my hand up here. So let's try that again. So hand behind your back or at your hip. Leave it. I'm waiting for eye contact. Now we'll make it a little bit harder, a little closer to him. Oh, much faster. Leave it. Ah, leave it. Now when you're doing this, I would probably recommend chopping it down to a smaller section, maybe about six inches. I can block him this way. Leave it. Leave it. So what we're saying is essentially it's a trade. If you leave that thing there, I'm gonna give you something better than what you have. Leave it. And that's a pretty good deal. Now if we get mad when he goes over there and gets it, leave it. Good attention and bad attention for dogs is the same thing. So if this gets my humans to come over, race over and try to take it from me, well then I'm gonna gobble it down as quickly as I can. So after you've mastered it upstairs, then you'll be able to go when he's looking at you, leave it, and you wouldn't be using your hand at that point. Oh. That was a lure away, so that's not a good example. Let's do that again. Leave it. Everything except for don't leave your hand up there like I did. So eventually, what I would do is I would get a bunch of these. You have kind of an oval here. So what I would do is I'd put them on a leash, and I would position these about every maybe three or four squares and then walk him with the leash and you're not gonna use the leash to pull him. So as he sees it, he starts looking at it, you say, leave it before you get to it. And he looks up to you. You kind of are putting the treat down while he's essentially, the treat's coming down and he gets the treat here after it. And then he turns around and like, oh, okay, well, I got something good. Uh, but you don't want to pick it up because again, uh, the idea is again, practice inside. We're trying to make this look like a good video. I went a lot faster than you would uh, normally. But again, if you do this and put these out and teach him that leaving them alone gets your reward, after a while, He'll come up to it and he'll look up immediately. You don't have to give him to leave it. And then you could, at that point, I would treat him and say the word leave it to put in context of what I'm leaving him for. Let's do one more. Put this behind my back. Leave it. You did very good, buddy. We gotta get you a TV show. You and me both. Well, this is Tortellino, and this is the conclusion of how you can teach your dog how to leave it.